Seven forty in the morning time and it's July the first, two thousand and thirteen on a Monday. Time now for the weather magician with PJ Wiggins. The ah, morning report. In court on Friday, the jury heard from a state witness who called nine one. Monday, July first, two thousand and thirteen. Get out, get out, get out! A good morning to you all. This lovely Monday morning. Our current conditions at. Defense Attorney Mark O'Meara. 7.40 a.m. Bar. Temperature 32 degrees with humidity 94%. Wind speed southwest by 3 miles per hour. Barometer 30 inches at a 2 point about 70 degrees. A visibility of 8 miles. You now know to be Trayvon Martin was on top, correct? Correct. And All right, we're going to take a look at our radar, and it shows. On the person on the bottom, Joe Simmons, right? That's what it looked like. Okay. Who was on top in that fight may be important to the jury to help determine who started the confrontation. Meantime, Officer Chris Serino is no longer a detective investigating for the Sanford Police Department. He's back in uniform, on patrol, <laughs> at times on the mid- And it shows a couple of rain showers off Eastern Long Island and off the Southern Rhode Island coast. And then have a batch of showers in on the Cape Cod and the islands. Stretch it down into the eastern seaboard, Atlantic seaboard from Massachusetts down to Florida. And a couple of rain showers in the southern suburbs of northern South Carolina. Stretch it in central South Carolina. Stretch it in western Virginia. And an Avalanche showers. Stretch it from eastern Pennsylvania. Stretch it out into western Ohio. And stretch it into Indiana and into Kentucky. Did a extremely thorough job. And as you as so, trial and, and another line of shots, stretch from Western Illinois, Indiana, stretch it into Southern Illinois, and stretch it into Southeast Missouri, and stretch it into near Memphis, there, and a couple of rain shots north of Arkansas. Jose, I know you've said, as you look at this case, you look at the evidence in the case, you think it's really the defenses to lose. Why and a popcorn cluster of showers stretch from Central Northern Illinois, stretch it into Indiana, and into Michigan, the and into Iowa, and into Minnesota. Guilty. And a couple of raid charges. Lack of evidence that this prosecution has to be able to. Uh, Topeka and Eastern Kansas stretch it into Southeast Rural Clover and into South Northern Arkansas, Southern Missouri, and a couple of raid charges in Southwestern Nebraska stretch it into Eastern Colorado. On one hand, we just saw this prosecution witness, John Good, who was almost turned into. And a couple of raid charges. It was George Zimmerman. Western Panda Hill, Texas, Central, Southwest of New Mexico, Colorado, Rachel, Western Texas, and then into Mexico. Where you have Trayvon Martin on the bottom. I mean, if there's a conflict in the evidence, like there was in this case, why can't the defendant, that's reasonable that we are going to take a look at our seven day podcast goes like this. That way. However, if it's presented, first, in a way hazardous way out for day one. Actually, it does could lead to locally heavy rainfall. This was heavy rainfall could lead to poor drainage and urban nuisance. But later today, at days two for seven. Tuesday for Sunday, localized significant rainfall over a short period of time will be possible early this week, potentially resulting in flash flooded in both urban areas and small rivers and creeks and trees. Okay, forecast for today goes like this. 7 day forecast. Friday day, rain and thunderstorms likely may be more. 1 p.m. Thunderstorms produce every rain. Petri fog before 11 a.m. on Mars. Cost guys with a high degree 80 degrees. Southwood about 6 to 10 miles per hour. Church of Persuasion 70%. New rainfall miles between the 10th and the quarter inch and fire miles. Possible thunderstorms. Friday night, a church of rain and thunderstorms. Most thunderstorms can produce heavy rain. And some of them can produce it. Petri fog after 10 p.m. on Mars. Cost guys with a low 70 degrees. Southwood about 7 with the 10 miles per hour. Church of Persuasion 40%. No way, Bob has been keen to tell the reported that you have higher about false photo thunderstorms. But Tuesday, a chance to shout the thunderstorms, some of the source produce every day. The jury looks at it. Petty Mallard before 9 a.m. on Mars, cut a scars when I do 82 degrees. Southwest wind about 10 to 13 miles per hour. Chance of persuasion. Following up on that, 50% do a Bob has between the 10th and 40th and checks every hour about false photo thunderstorms. But Tuesday night, a chance to shout the thunderstorms. Night before 10 p.m. on Mars. Getting it together with what little they have and trying to put the pieces of the puzzle. Cut a scars with a Lord. 6 to 9 degrees, southward about 6 to 10 miles per hour, chance of perspiration is 3%. George New York, all man's between uh, less than a 10 minute, chance of higher miles possible to thunderstorms. On Wednesday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, but he's up to 9 a.m. Most of the class, class high to 87 degrees, southwest wind about 8 to 13 miles per hour, chance of perspiration 30%.
Why did I add it? Such a shot of the social as Blue Street did I add it. What am I? Most of God's gods are below 69 degrees. Church participation is 20%. In the men's day, put them to God's when I do 89 degrees. Throw it out. Most of God's gods are below 39 degrees. Friday, put them to God's when I do 89 degrees. Spread it out. Most of God's gods are below 69 degrees. Saturday, put them to God's when I do 89 degrees. Throw it out. Put them to God's when I do 89 degrees. And Sunday, most of God's gods when I do 89 degrees. Peter is one of the very other day. Yeah, we also produce natural gas. That's how we make our living. July starts on the class side. This is PJ Wizard. Have a good day. What a good positive attitude. People should make up.